What if the next big leap in smartphone design isn't just a fold but two? Samsung is reportedly gearing up to unveil its first tri-folding phone, and if the latest leak is right, we won't have to wait long to see it, according to a new report from the Bell, Samsung plans to showcase this futuristic device during its Galaxy Unpacked event on July 9th. That's right next week. But don't expect it to hit store shelves right away. Mass production is set to begin in September, and the phone may go on sale sometime in the last quarter of this year. Now, let's talk specs because this phone isn't just about flashy folds. The tri-folding Samsung device is rumored to come with a massive 10-inch old display. That's basically the size of a tablet, packed into something that folds down. To fit in your pocket and powering it, the newly announced Snapdragon 8 Elite chip, said to be the fastest smartphone processor yet. It's clear Samsung wants this phone to feel like the future in your hands, but not everything is about going big. When it comes to the battery, the report says it will be smaller than the 5,600 mAh battery inside Huawei's tri-folding phone. That might raise concerns, but Samsung is likely betting on software and chip efficiency to make up for it. As for cameras, the setup could match what we're expecting in the Galaxy Z Fold 7, a 200 megapixels main sensor, a 12 megapixels ultrawide, a 10 megapixels telephoto with 3x optical zoom, and a 10 megapixels selfie camera. Those numbers put it right in flagship territory. But here's the thing, this won't be a mass market device, at least not yet. The trifold phone is expected to cost more than for million Korean won, which is close to 2,941 US dollars. And for now, it might only be available in China and South Korea. That's not surprising though. This launch is less about selling millions of units and more about proving a point. Samsung wants to show it still leads in mobile innovation, especially as rivals like Huawei, Oppo, and Vivo push out thinner, lighter foldables with powerful specs. Huawei, in fact, launched its first tri-folding phone back in September 2024 and managed to sell over 400,000 units in just two months. Now, they're already preparing a second-generation model. So, Samsung's tri-fold phone is coming late, but maybe not too late. With its in-house old display tech, powerful hardware, and a new form factor, it could still turn heads. The old panel, by the way, will be made by Samsung Display and is said to be extremely thin yet strong and flexible production of the What if Samsung's biggest surprise at Unpacked isn't the Galaxy Z Fold 7 or even the Z Flip 7, but a third foldable that's cheaper and more accessible than anything we've seen from them before, just as people were getting ready for the usual two-model foldable launch, something unexpected happened. A slip-up from Spigen, one of the biggest case makers, might have just confirmed that a Galaxy Z Flip 7 FE is real and it could be launching alongside the main devices this July. For a brief moment, Spigen listed cases for the Galaxy Z Flip 7 and a mysterious Z Flip 7 FE. These listings didn't stay up for long, but they were spotted quickly by Android Central and Tech Watchers. What makes this leak stand out is that Samsung is using the 7 in the name, Clearly showing this fan edition isn't an afterthought. Last year's foldable FE didn't include a number in the name, which led to confusion. This time, Samsung seems to be telling us this is part of the main family just more affordable and that makes things exciting. According to leaks and early renders, the Galaxy Z Flip 7 FE is expected to keep the same design as the standard model with a 6.7-inch main screen and a 3.4-inch covered display. So from the outside, it won't scream budget, but under the hood, some things are different. Instead of the usual Snapdragon processor, the fan is rumored to run on Samsung's own Exynos to 408 chip. It might come with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The screen should still offer full high-definition plus resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate so everyday performance might still feel smooth and sharp. But here's where it really matters, the price. Reports from South Korea say it could cost around 1 million Korean won. 
That's about 30% cheaper than the Galaxy Z Flip 6. If that pricing sticks for other markets, Samsung could be about to launch its most affordable foldable ever without waiting months after launch like they usually do with fan edition phones. That's a smart move. The market is getting more crowded. New players like nothing are offering sleek designs and powerful specs at lower prices. And with budget options from Chinese brands slowly entering the global foldable scene, Samsung can't afford to sit back. Bringing the Fed to launch alongside the Z Flip 7 and Fold 7 shows that Samsung is shifting its strategy. It wants to get more people into foldables right now, not just those willing to spend over $1,000. The idea of a foldable phone that's affordable, stylish, and part of the main lineup could be a game changer for users who've been curious about foldables but couldn't justify the price. This might finally be the right time. What if your next smartwatch could reflect your personality better than ever right out of the box? As we get closer to Samsung's big unpacked event on July 9th, new leaks are revealing some exciting updates for the upcoming Galaxy Watch 8 series. And no, it's not just about better specs or faster performance. This time, it's all about customization. A recent software teardown has pulled back the curtain on seven new watch faces, giving us a sneak peek into what could be Samsung's most flexible smartwatch experience yet. These designs were spotted in the Galaxy Watch 7 Manager app, which usually controls watch features, but this time it held a few surprises. Even though these features are not always guaranteed to make it to launch, they line up almost perfectly. With what we saw in recent promotional images of the Galaxy Watch 8, that's why people are convinced these faces are going to be part of the final product. Let's talk about what's actually coming. There's minimal analog and minimal digital, both designed to keep things simple and clean, likely great for those who want something straightforward. Then there's the Sporty Classic and Heritage Classic, clearly targeting users who like the traditional look of analog watches with a modern twist. Interactive number seems like a fun one, possibly with touch-based features or animations. But the most practical ones might be Gradient Info Board and Circle Info Board, both of which seem to focus on showing important information like steps, heart rate, and notifications right on the main screen. It's not just about how the watch looks, it's also about how useful it is at a glance. That's something smartwatch users always appreciate getting all your key data in one place without tapping through menus. And that brings us to the bigger picture. Samsung isn't only updating the software, the hardware is getting a refresh too. Leaks suggest the Galaxy Watch 8 Ultra might come with a new squircle shape, basically a mix between a square ender. Circle which could help with more screen space while keeping the watch stylish. That means you're not only getting more face designs, but a whole new way of wearing them. This focus on visual customization feels like a smart move, especially when smartwatches are becoming fashion statements as much as tech tools and if. These watch faces are already built into the app code. It's a strong sign they'll be part of the launch. Of course, nothing is official until Samsung says so on stage, but with the event just around the corner, we won't have to wait much longer. If this leak is any clue, then Samsung is finally making personalization a bigger priority for its wearable line. That could be a big deal for people who want their devices to look and feel just right without downloading third-party apps.